Hello everyone, Wumpus Gaming here, back today with more Crusader Kings 3. We're just going to be looking at the base game and checking out the new Roads to Power DLC. Uh, one of the things they've added in with the game and the new Roads to Power DLC as part of the whole package are these weekly game sessions. We're not going to be checking out this week's game. I might start doing these at some point when I feel more confident with the game. But yeah, there's now weekly characters for you to check out and play as uh, in the various historical settings. Today we're going to go into new game. And you guys voted on the poll for the 1178 start, which is the new start in the game. And we're going to be playing as a Coptic Christian family. I want to check out some of the new settings here. So we've got the Conqueror's Frequency. Uh, we're going to reset this all to default, and we're just going to play a default game. Just wanted to look through. Yeah, this is going to suck with the Black Death. But yeah, we're just going to we're just going to play a default game today. Um, nothing changed in here, basically. I'm going to play as any ruler. Um, this has been loading pretty slowly for me today. I'm not really sure why, so we'll see how long it takes. <clears throat> I have no mods loaded, so I'm not really sure what its problem is. Um, that's okay. Oh no, it loaded pretty quickly this time. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking we were going to start off as a Coptic Christian family down here in... Abyssinia, which is modern-day Ethiopia, this region. And my thinking was, we start off as Coptic Christians, and we travel north into Egypt, into Jerusalem. And maybe from there, we convert to, like, Catholicism, and then we travel to Italy or something? I don't know. I have a couple ideas. I'm not sure how long we're going to do this run. I just kind of want to show off the unlanded adventure mechanics and kind of talk about why I'm a little I don't know I'm gonna be honest I'm a little disappointed I think it's a little lackluster I I think it could have been done better there's there's a lot of repetitiveness to it um which which I don't you know there's a lot of repetitiveness anyways in um, CK3, which is why I tend to play modded instead of uh, unmodded. We're going to go with Astute Intellectual. Uh, yeah, I like Temperate. We're going to be Humble. Maybe Stubborn, because I like Stubborn, even though it's... Yeah, maybe we go with Stubborn for like a quasi-negative trait. <clears throat> okay, other traits. Let's see. I'm not going to start off with any of the learned traits. Maybe we make ourselves a novice physician? And we can, like, be a traveling doctor? I like that idea. I like that idea. Okay. Let's be a journaler as well. I want anything else, or is this just going to be it? Maybe poet? Maybe poet. Maybe, 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 maybe. Um... We have, what, 100 points left? I'm going to make you hail, so we have a little more ability to defend ourselves. That's my thinking there. Well, actually, hail or strong? Strong is plus four. Yeah, let's go with strong. We're gonna go with strong. And then we're gonna go with... Uh, maybe we still go... No, because then we'll be eight points over. We'll be eight points over. Doctors were often herbalists as well, I would argue. So I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab herbalist, and that's gonna be the last of the traits we do. Okay, I'm okay with this look. This is fine. This is, you know, we're just taking a look at roads to power here. So we're gonna 
create our adventurer here. Uh, it's called the Band of God. We'll change this and customize it in game. Once we get in game. Okay. The roads we walk. The path ahead stretches on and on a lonely winding thread towards the distant horizon. My camp is quiet. Just a few scattered tents and pack animals yawning in the breeze. Strangers and hangers on rise with the day preparing for the morning chores with reluctance. Most of the miscellaneous chaff that filt in and out of a group on the road with each new settlement. Few faces catch my eyes as ones I recognize at least in more than passing. We're going to go with scrappers because I'm an intellectual, but I can't fight. So this is this is the whole camp purpose, and I want to do scholars. I think this is diplomacy contracts. Yeah, let's let's do explorers. We're going to become explorers. Then here's our camp. It's not much. We have a pavilion, which gives us a second officer, medium health boost, and plus two building slots. Then in the building slots, you have all sorts of different uh, buildings. You have supply tents for more provisions and supplies. Provisions is basically your food capacity and like how you feed your men and your troops. Uh, and then everything else works the same as an army, basically. I think we're going to save up money for our Barber's Tent, because if I remember correctly, the Barber's Tent is the only thing in here that provides us a little bit of income. So this will get us a bit of gold going. So I want to save up 60 gold for that. Can't do anything else here yet. Uh, we have no patrons. We do have two camp followers. Samir the Honest and Gabriel the Hideous. I see then we can appoint our camp followers to various tasks uh, roles here. So we have a personal position. We have no one good at that. Gabriel or Samir would be good as a... I'm going to go with Samir. More travel safety sounds great. You're only average at that. You're only average at that. I think... Can have you appointed as a bodyguard, Gabriel. All right, so let's see what kind of contracts we have around us. So we have a murder contract, a ambush contract, and a crate work of learning. Ooh, that is a learning challenge, and we have 15 learning. Let's let's go do the learning challenge. So, writers from all across the land are directed to the Ross at Dambia's castle for gainful scribing work. We will get 23 gold, 250 provisions. If we have a regular success, okay. So if this is basically a critical success, so we all get an extra 23 gold. On our normal success, we get 45 exception. Oh, okay. So this is the lowest tier of, of completion. 23 gold, 45, 55 at the highest tier. All right, that sounds fine. We have some mountains in the way here, so we're gonna hire some scout for talents, because we want to hire people as we go. Then some pathfinder gear to reduce the dangers in the mountains. Okay, let's travel to contract, and let's pick our lifestyle of learning. And I'm gonna go down... Saga City, nowhere to go, nowhere not to go. Yeah, I guess we'll just go down whole body for now, and then maybe we'll complete Scholar. I don't know. We'll look. Okay. We're going to travel for our first contracts over here in Aksum. Uh, as we continue through Gozara, my eye catches an elaborately decorated tomb amidst a network of common graves. Do tomb appears to be cracked open and just within its mouth I see the glimmer of some unknown treasure. None but my party appear to be around and surely whomever once owned the contents of this tomb would not cast dungeon judgment on me for taking what would go otherwise unused. Uh, I will not desecrate the undead, the dead. Not the undead, the dead in general. Um. Yeah, let's make it exhaustive work. 67%, 60%. 
Yeah, so unfortunately, this is what my complaint with uh, Unlanded Adventuring is. It's just events. It's just events and schemes over and over again. That's really all it is. There's no, like, diversity really to it. You just go around doing these schemes, doing these jobs. Uh... And if you succeed, you get money. Eventually, you make enough money and you can sit down. You can land yourself uh, somewhere. Um, I don't have the prestige for this. Okay. So, we only have criminal contracts in this area. So, I'm going to move my camp. I don't want to move to Sana. Let's move to Soba. Can I move there? Move camp there. Let's move to Soba. Okay, we have some dry lands in the way. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, that makes the danger a little easier. Start moving my camp. We only have two knights. We have no men at arms yet. We have enough space for two, though. I wonder. No, we don't have enough prestige. Okay. We don't want to be doing criminal contracts. We're not criminals, so we're going to travel over to Alodia here and see if there's anything there. Okay, we have gained another knight, another follower. Uh, I'm not going to risk it. Okay, we still don't have a good physician. I'll make you my second, sure. Oh boy. Let's try a learning challenge for food. There we go. We found some food. And this is really the reason why I haven't been making, wanting to make this video, is I personally do not find Unlanded Adventures to be fun. Uh, I do not find this system to be very well thought out. It's, it's really random as to what kind of contracts you'll get, right? See, we have two criminal contracts again. We don't want to do those. This is a transport contract, but I'm not very good at prowess, so we're probably not going to be good at this. Uh, yeah, so again, we just traveled, wasted food and time for no reason, and we can't really do anything. Let's visit this tribal holding. Let's see if, the, let's see if we can find any stories. Uh, let's see if we can get my diplomacy up a little bit. We did, okay. I don't want criminal contracts. I don't have the money to hire anyone. Let's see if the town crier knows of anything. Oh, that's 75 prestige. I don't have that. Not really missing a lot of supplies, actually. Um, that's Marshall. And our Marshall is terrible. All right, let's do this escort emissary. Let's let's see where this takes us. Uh, we will travel with the full camp. Where is this taking us? Up north to Alaqui. Yeah, maybe we'll find better uh, better jobs up here. Yeah. Okay. Start traveling. It's a lot of provisions, but that's okay. And I know the other half of this DLC was the Byzantium rework, but I also have, like, no interest in that either. I was really looking forward to the Unlanded Adventurers, and without mods, it's proven to be kind of... It's lackluster. It's the same events over and over again. It's the same schemes over and over again. Eventually, you get rich enough, you settle down somewhere, and you play CK3 the normal way. I was hoping for, like, the ability to, like, 
I don't know what I was looking for, but it was more than this. That's all I gotta say. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I was looking for, but what landed just feels a little half-baked to me. Okay, we made it. That's a nice successful travel contract done. Let's go into our camp and we're going to get that barber's tent built. That'll take seven months. Hired muscle, escort emissary, eager explorer. I've never done an eager explorer before. Uh, yeah, let's, let's uh, take contract. We will all travel to Medina. That sounds great. Um, that sounds amazing, actually. How much food is that? What is this, desert? Hmm. Okay, before I do that, let's visit the town and buy some provisions. Uh... Something else. Supplies are this way. I do not have enough money. Okay, I'm going to try a learning. God damn it. Shit. Now she's increased prices. Let's see if there's any... Okay, so we can't travel to Medina. We don't have enough food. See if there's a wife around here? No, there's not. Okay. Alright, well... We'll make the journey. Hopefully we don't run out of food on the way there. Uh, there we go. Let's start traveling. Oh wait, I wanted to move the whole camp. Why is it not moving the whole camp? Oh, damn it. Oh, now we're gonna die of starvation. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Oh, I hate this game sometimes. <sighs> yeah, I'm just... Yeah, this is... This is... This is Unlanded Adventurers, guys. I can't make this any more interesting than it is. I'm hoping when we do it as part of CK3A got that it's way more interesting because of the setting. Um, and I'm hoping that the modders are able to make it more interesting than it is here, because here it's kind of boring. It's lackluster. It's not fun. It's just repetitive. Um, too many criminal contracts in this area. Yeah. Um, but this is basically going to be a one-off episode because I'm not really interested in playing Unlanded Adventures, after all. Uh, it turns out that I'm disappointed with the DLC. Uh, I was hoping not to be. I was really looking forward to this one. I know a lot of other YouTubers are saying it's a great DLC, but I just... I'm sorry, I just don't see it. I just don't. Um, the fuck? Okay, there we go. I really hate the Yui. I... Oh, look, a wife. I have to buy the... Ah, Jesus. As you can tell, I'm not really having fun making this video, which is why I didn't want to make this video. I just, I don't have anything good to say about uh, Roads to Power so far. And that's my honest opinion, and that's where I'm going to leave the video uh, 20 minutes in. Uh, I want to thank all you guys for coming out to my Roads to Power Let's Look. I know it's been kind of dull and not all that interesting to watch. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for coming out. Leave a like. 
If you're new here, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. I'm sorry if this video was mostly me complaining, but I just don't have much to say about this DLC. The Wumpus gives the uh, Roads to Power DLC on a 0 through 10 scale, 0 being the worst, 10 being the best, a solid 6 or 7. It's a meh. Unfortunately, from what I've learned, some of this stuff in the DLC, you need to be able to play the mods it's looking like. So you're going to have to buy this DLC, I think, at some point because of the way it's coded. Um, and that's just the sad truth of it. Um, yeah, anyways, I, I'm not even going to post this. I don't even feel like posting this video because I didn't do much. It doesn't feel good. This just, I don't have anything good to say about Rose to Power. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Bye, guys. Ha, ha, ha.